So how's it guys, it's probably two and back here with another video today I'm back here with a showcase video for the boy Gladi or Gladiolus. Gladio just released on Global and I managed to snag his LD. He did cost me a few resources. This one my Gladio is looking like he's got the LD skin because I prefer that. His spheres, uh is Rogen sure I definitely think you can get a better A sphere you because this is physical attack, you want attack. I think you want like someone like, I don't know, Vaughn. Uh, Beast Sphere, his sphere is actually fantastic for a beast law. Party attack, 2% up five times, 10% attack. And HP heal Garnet Bud Sphere, which is actually fantastic because he does have a HP regen. And yeah, I am going to go f uh, thoroughly through Gadio. We are bringing Dash and Strago along just to, you know, Strago is just, God. And for friend support. If it decides to load. I think we'll take a curse on my friend just to push damage. So let's talk about the boy. Gladio, because this is a very hyped up character. Gladio is basically a tank. He is the king's shield after all. Oh yeah, I gave him his C50 for artifacts, which is 15% HP. Okay, so Gladio's first skill is called Tempest. Is he get, It's a brave gain to a 4 hit AoE brave HP attack. It grants himself Stacks of King's Shield and grants allies or a guard. Let's use Tempest. Obviously, his first skill is free, as you saw. What does Royal Guard do? Royal Guard reduces Brave and HP damage taken by allies. So it's roughly 60% Brave damage reduction and 20% HP damage reduction. And Gladio will cover this ally when taken when they are targeted. So when, so, if, since Strago is being targeted, if when Strago is they are attacking Strago, Gladio will instead take the attack like Galoof does. So, pretty much Gladio is a cover tank, which has a lot of benefit considering that a lot of bosses will become lock immune. So, the fact that Gladio can just cover instead of uh, being locked means he can pretty much be used anywhere. So, we just go ahead and start guys going with Strago. Quasar and this is very good for Zafina because the bosses are need to lock and attack down obviously then we're going to get ready with dash So how do you get a stack of, sorry, before we go, he also has two more buffs. His Cryolin's Guard Pride rates his max brave on attack, which is from his skill 2. His King's Shield is from skill 1 and raises his max brave on attack. These go up per stack, so it's 10 stacks, roughly 40% attack on max brave. And defense reduction is, is constant as you can see and from his EX he grains the buff called Warrior's Trial which is party attack and overflow and party HP regen so let's go with electric 4 like this and the way to increase these stacks is for Gladio to take a hit pretty much as you can see, the stacks went up. The striker is going to go with his S2. So we're going to. Dawnhammer now. 
And everything Gladio does is a battery, which is fantastic. And he's battering himself as well, which is what I like. And so then we will get into the LD. The LD is called Impulse. And Impulse is an A-hit AOE great HP attack that grants itself the buff Perfect Guard. Pretty much what Perfect Guard does is 100% Brave and HP reduction and debuff evasion and he will counter attack every time with knockdown which is a 4 hit single target break to HP attack like that does 50% splash and inflicts the debuff knockdown which is 40% attack and max brave down which is very nice And we're just going to Tempest here. Okay, so he's paralyzed with electric floor. I'm going to apply each technique again. So Gladio offers a lot to the party in terms of overflow, auras, deep reduction. And the reason why he's so hyped is because of he's just so versatile in his role. He's but he's not he's always battering the party no matter what. So we're going to just HP attack plus. And HP attack plus with dash. Oh, the Lufinia Orb as well, uh, you pretty much, it's non, there is no uh, way to get rid of the uh, dash, damn dash, so we're going to Grand Delta with Strago. For the Lufinia Orb, there is no way to get rid of the count, you just have to take the hit, like there's nothing else I can see there. Oh Jesus, Strago. So there's nothing you can do there. So that's why Gladio is here to pretty much tank the hit because you know he tanks. <laughs> and I did give Gladio his C50, which increases his HP because his only effective way is really of tanking is the LD, which he won't always have off. Which is important. So I think this is a match attack, so we'll just switch stances. Also, these guys do cleanse a lot, so be wary of that. So Gladio's just gonna take the hit, which is fine. See, these guys do cleanse a decent amount. Then we're going to replace our Strago. As you can see, Strago has taken advantage of Gladio's Overflow Ores, which is very good. And Plasma Stroke. I'm going to Dawn Hammer to refresh power on the Crown's Guard because uh, this is Gladio's last stand because he has to have this Crown's Guard pried up to have his last stand active because if he doesn't, well, he can actually get one shot. Also, his LD, it's very hard for him to get one shot. So, let's get into the problems I have with Gladio. Gladio requires a lot of startup time because his buffs, the only way for him to increase the stack of his buffs is to pretty much get hit, which is kind of annoying. He does require a lot of startup time, which can be quite annoying, but and also 
His only really effective way of tanking is through his LD. Because he doesn't evade like Galoop. He is taking the hit directly on. So it is very important to just note that. And his LD is quite short in duration despite it being so good. So I'm going to take some attack plus. And that's electric floor. Yes, it is. So I'm going to reapply that. So yeah, his LD can be quite short. And it can, it, if you're not careful, you can definitely wear this down. So they're all even numbers, so Strago can just break. And yeah, he... Another issue Gladio has is he's not reliable at shaving because his potencies are quite low. Like, even in Synergy, he's not capping, which is kind of worrying. Damn, they really just... So I'm going to push you again. So, as you can see, he's just taking hits, so... Yeah, just be careful when you use the LD. And Quasar again. But as you can see, he does do a lot for the party because he's consistently battering, he's consistently taking hits, he's reducing the brave damage and the HP damage of your enemies. And even without his LD, he can still affect, he is still a bit of an effect, he still has a lot of effect because he's taking those hits on and he's reducing the amount of damage he's taking. So we're going to use. EX here. And the EX actually does shave a lot. And he does battery very well. Because his batteries are based damage based, so So obviously free dirties can do matter, but for me because he's consistently battering and sorry, because he can't really effectively tank outside the LD, I'm more inclined to take Jesus Christ Jack. Uh C50 for that extra HP boost. Well C3 LDs should be enough so they are So as you can see Gladio's just been dominating this match so much. So we're going to bitch shoot plasma stroke. Now we're going to activate the LD. No point in not using the LD. Sorry, the Stragos LD. He just does so much damage. Oh my gosh, Stragos, so stupid. No HP plus here with Dash. Let's count the S2 now. 
And I like the fact that Bugatti always bashes himself before the hits because his potencies are definitely quite low. Okay, so now in the face. As you can see, zero brave HP damage, which is just retarded. And counters with knockdown. Hmm, I thought I flipped knockdown to all targets. Oh yeah, this is the dangerous attack. Jesus, that does a lot of HP damage. He also, Gladi also has a regen, which is very good. Some Quasar. As you can see, Strike was really benefiting from that. Um, what's called the <laughs> overflow Gladio provides because it provides roughly 40% overflow. Okay, so you only fix the hit enemy with knockdown, which is interesting, okay. So this is gonna hurt. So actually I'll try from Gladiator. Let's reapply Crown Scarf Twice. Strago. Oh my god, Strago's damage is just so silly, man. It is actually retarded how much damage Sky does. I'm glad you just counters. And they're just gonna hit him again. And he's just gonna counter. Also, if you don't have Gladio, you can cheese the Lufinia or because obviously you have to take the hit. It does target the one with the lowest HP all the time. And it's in the club. I want to use the LD again. I'll see he's going to counter. Quasar again. Look, <laughs> jeez. Oh man, this drag is so retarded. That's an electric area. It is.
wants to take the sponge. His EX does hit like a truck, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, they really are just loving breakings. And then we're going to nah. I think I'm hmm. just gonna quiz out again. I don't really need to push anyone up forward. Jesus, Drago. I'm going to use the last electric floor. The guy is taking no damage. He saw Thomasa. Shago, oh my God. That's some retarded damage. I see some fish. And then electric into the underclaw. Oh, yes, you missed the ash. I don't think they have buttons. So I'm just going to do class. <sighs> 130k off of HP plus. Drago is so least hearted. Then we're going to use Gladio. Like, even as you can see, Gladio can't shave very well at all. Let's go, Strago. To cast. Push off. <laughs> and there you go, guys. That was the Gladio showcase. This guy is honestly retarded. He's just so, he just does too much man, like Jesus, and Strigo, oh my god, this guy is so just, so. see that's been the Gladio Showcase, bring your boy tubes, I'll see you guys later, peace.